Hello, welcome. See our wrestling commentary, Cedric Kennedy here, and I'll be reviewing Stardom Tokyo Super Wars. This is uh, new to me, and I don't know too much of anything about Stardom, so I uh, I'd watched the first match already, and I watched it again because I want to take notes on the matches so I could one say the names. Say, you know, the things that stuck out most to me, and then and there you go. Uh, and pretty much give a rundown of the match, what was in it. I don't know if I'm going to do this for every match, but certainly at least the maybe first or two matches. Other than that, I might, if, if, the, if the talent is easily, uh, how to say, visually differentiated, then I may not need to. But other than that, I'll tell you why they all pretty much look alike. Because I don't necessarily look at faces I just see ring attire usually I'm looking more so hands feet abdomen and that controls you know what I see on the action in the ring the only time I look at faces is when someone is in the submission hold or there is a zoom in of the camera on their face and it's not just start on no but I'm letting you know what I do with pretty much all wrestling I'm just sort of in a general looking at the screen not looking for defining neck up features. I'm just looking at what's the action and what's happening. And so for this, this match starts off with the future of stardom title It's a three way match. So, um, let's see if I can get these names right for y'all. All right. No disrespect. I, right. so we've got competitor number one, which is Waka Sukiyama versus my Sakurai. Versus the champion Ruaka, and I, you know, look when it was coming to the ring, I was like, seriously, I was like, okay, these the first two, I'm like, they're they're in frills, they're they're wearing frills, okay, all right, so I'm not supposed to take this seriously, all right. Now wait a minute, don't don't write me off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to everything. I'm gonna cover everything, so don't write me off yet. Just let me explain myself. <laughs> so. They don't take themselves seriously. They get in for the ring uh, entrance, ring boast, and they, their names are called out. So that's when I took the time to write them down. Because, uh, let's for example, okay, Waka Sukiyama. Uh uh. When Dude introduces her name, he says, Sukiyama! Wah! Like, what the hell did you say? So, yeah, I do not understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. So I'm just hollering. It's like Peter Griffin doing all the alphabet alphabets in one, in one second. So I was like, they're wearing frills. They're brightly garbed. Okay, Ruaka's in the ring. And I'm like, okay, dark dressed, but her eyes look like she needs some serious sleep or some antibiotics. So, all right, we're going to work with this. Let's see what their skill is like. Now, I saw the match initially, but then before this, watching it again, I decided to look up uh, Stardom. So, okay, they got bought out by Bushi Road, and that's basically, as it said on Wiki, their New Japan Pro Wrestling sister company. Okay, fine, no problem. You know, it's all good. Uh, but I got, I'm going to say this where I take issue. Um, this belt is like New Japan Pro Wrestling's 30 and under belt, except this is more like three years and under in, I guess, public pro wrestling in a company or in that company, three years or under, or maybe three years in general. I don't know. It wasn't specified. So the future of stardom, it shows it's a beginner level belt, which I don't think one need. I don't think you need a participation belt. I think you need to work climb your ass up and then be in you know the big the big events the main events and whatnot uh they talked about some other stuff like the they're primarily based on kicks and whatnot and i'm like well i guess the main event is what does that so let's check out how this woman is going to defend her title so ruaka's ring bows express she doesn't take the match seriously she just Sat there smiling like she didn't give a damn. Like, yeah, yeah, 
whatever, I'm going to do this. She just looked like a days ago. She didn't care. Okay. She, then the champion, Ruaka, refused to shake hands with her opponents. I'll admit, I'm going to admit, Waka and Mai, that the way that they extended their hands for the handshake, I thought it was freaking adorable. I was like, it takes a serious heel to refuse that. I was like, wait, they got both, both of them got both arms extended. How you going? So then they extended to each other and they shook hands. Like, oh, okay, that's how you doing. Okay. I was like, yay, they're nice. Okay, cool. All right. So then, after that, the problem is the match looked highly choreographed. And then when someone can say, well, look, they are rookies. They, you know, look, they're highly trained. All right. They are highly trained women in that ring. Don't even get it twisted. It's just that calling it on the fly or learning to do some of the more basic stuff, that's not in their forte. You could tell they were told to keep it simple, keep it clean, and move on. You can see it. And that's good to do with someone that's actually rookies. When someone's an actual rookie, that's good to do. So, but still, my stops, look, Ruach is at the top rope. She's climbing up, and I assume she's going for, you know, looking back on it, she's going for that, her finisher anyway. My stops her, and she performs a rope hung ace crusher. I'm like, come on, we got this an ace crusher. But when they hit the mat, it's like they hit a, a, a plate of bricks. Okay. And I'm like, they didn't, you know, they hit and they whole body froze up. That's what it looked like. So Ruaka steadily gets up from that move and then half ass drags her way over towards Waka who's calling her just to deliver a diving missile drop kick. I mean, get your stuff in. I guess do what you're told to do, but at the same time, it looked bad. You know, and Waka Sukiyama, I ain't gonna lie, her ring bows, I was like, you look like, she's like she's trying to dance, like, 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 like pose like, you know, one of the, the, the geisha artists, you know? And sad to say, to even dumb it down more, I've seen that pose on a Japanese milk carton. And I'm like, what is this? And then find out, yeah, okay, it's supposed to be beauty, beauty models and whatnot, highly thing on looks, yada, yada, okay. Which, yeah, which will, it, it, here that comes. Okay, so after that drop kick, Mai hit a diving elbow drop on Ruaka who barely moved a centimeter. I mean, she got hit, it's a diving elbow, and they both just like hit the mat like their whole body froze again. And then Mai and Waka exchanged elbows to the chest, ensuring not to strike the face because you don't want to bruise up a pretty little face. It's professional wrestling. If you're not striking to the face, because in a real fight, you're going to the face. You're going to the face, it's just happening. But, you know, protect your face. Now, granted, back in the day, no one even know, talks about this. But back in the day, the, the, the baby faces, the elbows to the chest, the shoulder, the clavicle, or the lower neck, never the face. Heels punch to the face, you know, behind the referee's back. So just keep that in mind. More or less in the 80s, it was kind of like all bets off. We just going to fight. But then again, that's United States, not Japan. In Japan, they whooped the hell out of each other in the face. The women did. Um, I'm like, man, is this what, you know, uh, Manami Toyota and Akira Hokuto, they, this is the legacy that they paid for women to be this? It, I ain't gonna, if I was one of them women, any of women in Gaia and whatnot, I'd, I'd, I'd be so embarrassed. I really would. I'd be like, this is what this is what females are doing. Did I suffer? If I was Hokuto, did I suffer all those injuries? Did I go to the ring wrapped up to the point where you could barely see me? Got the nickname of the mummy? Did I suffer all that blood loss and stuff just to see this later? I'd be upset. There ain't no one necessarily asked her to do that, but still, you know, I'm just saying. 
it's, it's uh, whoo. Now I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm keep the comparative reasoning part out of this. That would go away from wrestling. Whoo, whoo, I could go there. So after that, after elbow exchange and all that, Maya hit a falcon arrow on Waka, and Ruaka saved the pin. Okay, cool. She saved it, broke up the pin. Then Ruaka took forever to set up a blue thunder bomb. And the blue thunder bomb was a set up move. I mean, it took forever. She had to find a way to, she had to, how do I turn your arm? How do I turn your body? I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh my goodness, help me out. And it's like, I can't help you out. I'm supposed to look like I'm dead. So that was, that was bad. But she got the blue thunder, drug her over, climbed to the top. Falling splash from the top for a three count and to defend her title. That that was not a good match. And it shows their rookie, their rookiness. <sighs> Sorry about that. That was a yawn. But yeah, it, it it showed their rookiness and yet it showed that they know more or less what they're doing and how to do the moves. So if this is the future of stardom. You know, when it comes to potential, they're showing it. You know, I can see the potential, whatever they're going to lead up to. Because, see, this is my first time seeing the event. So I need to, I, the, 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 by the time I get to the main event or mid card, I need to see what they're, what, what level they are trying to reach. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to see what level they're trying to reach. Because this right here, if this is every match, I am going to kick myself forever being mad that I could not watch stardom. I'm going to be upset with myself. All right. It ain't over. Oh, no, it ain't over. Post-match. This woman in a Momo mask, and I'm saying maximum creep factor. All right. Maximum creep factor with a bit of cute and peskiness. Like... 2% cute and peskiness. Other than that, just massive creep factor. If I saw that, I would, I'd be like, I know it's wrestling, but I had to shoot her in the head. I, hey, she was coming at me, man. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what was going to happen. I don't know what, I don't know what that thing going to do. It was just a woman in a mask. Oh, it was a dead woman in a mask. That thing messed me up. That's where I would be. That messed me up. She don't know how to work. So she got shot. That's, that's me though. I don't know what I'd, I'd probably just run away or, or faint. Just saying. Just, just trying to keep it real. Run away or faint. Make a choice, Cedric. Faint while running away. So, she comes in. She attacks everybody. And Starlight Kid runs in to save the day. Yay! I assume it's Starlight Kid. I don't think too many of them are wearing a female version of Tiger Mask's mask. Okay? So. I'm assuming that was Starlight Kid. And I like the name, so I'm hoping it is because I like the name. So let it be Starlight Kid because I like the name and I like the outfit. It was blue. All right, and if you don't like blue, then what's wrong with you? In any case, Ruaka gets, uh, uh, gets the mic. She kicks the last opponent out of the ring. And does a promo with somebody. I don't know who it is because I'm not used to these people. But obviously it seems like this after you defend your title or win the title, there's somebody there to challenge for it. And that's what it was going for. So you got to build that up. And whoever it was, she tried to get the crowd behind her. But crowd and not allowed to talk. So all they could do was clap in appreciation, which they did that poorly. So they don't really care for this title. That's what it seems like. But... I mean, for rookies, it's an all right beginning. I'll say that. I can give them that leeway. I'll give that match one and a half stars. But it won't a craptacular match either. But it falls far below the standard, I would assume, whatever the standard is for stardom. So, hey, that's going to do it for this. This is just a free clip for y'all on YouTube. The rest is going to be um, on Spreaker. So you can find the link to that to my Spreaker account. You can find that 
at the bottom where it says podcast click on that link take you to Spreaker it'd be nice if you signed up and listened you know as a listener which is free but hey if you just want to go there and I think this without signing up you can do that so for all intents and purposes let's roll